Good. How are you doing? I'm okay. You're in the middle of a tour. Yes, actually, we're uh, getting ready to play uh, Kansas City, Missouri right now. So that's where you're at now? Yep. Going to Kansas City. Uh, LD50, that uh, album went gold, is that correct? That is correct, sir. Okay. And now the new one's out, of course, the end of all things to come. Uh, do you guys uh, have any idea how it's selling so far? I know it just came out, but I wonder if you have any kind of figures. Uh, you know, they've got their formulas that they run, so on and so forth. So we have guesstimates, but, uh, you know, I'll wait to see the numbers. No, I love that word, they, and that leads me into my first question. What is Mudvayne's view on the corporate music world? You know, the boy bands, the whole business, as opposed to music and art. What are your views on that, Ryan? You know, it's a business, and uh, therefore uh, bands are easily swallowed. And uh, fortunately for us, we've been... Uh, in a very good position with our label, and they've been very, very supportive. You know, hence uh, them investing into us. You know, with marketing and and uh, you know, letting us use the producers that we want to use, and so on and so forth. So, you know, as far as the artistic freedom goes with our label, we've been uh, extremely fortunate and uh, always had uh, good relations with them on that. When you guys write a song. Is it a complete collaboration between all four of you, or is there a different way you guys write your songs? Yeah, everything is uh, brought in by all of us, you know, so uh, you know, that's kind of how we work. Things run in circles with this band. We all bring in our ideas and collaborate together, you know, uh, musically and uh, conceptually. Of course, people are going to be stronger in different areas and in, in what uh, they bring, but uh, it's definitely a collaborative effort. Now, you're speaking of uh, collaborations and concepts and conceptuality, the band photo inside the new CD is pretty intense. Um, it looks as if it were taken on the set of a science fiction movie. I'd I like to ask where it was taken and what is your basic concept for the album and that picture? Uh, now, that's going a little too far, actually, <laughs> as far as uh, what you're asking for me. I'm not going to give you a straight answer on that one. Okay. Um, but uh, as far as where it was shot, and that uh, we worked with a, a photographer, and his name is Nitten. And um, uh, so some of the actual uh, graphic design was done by he and his team, um, photography and post people. That's a killer and, picture. Uh, and um, the actual photos photos were taken, uh, which people will see um, on the DVD, actually, uh, from the uh, uh, the other version of the album. Uh, they actually uh, it has a DVD, and on the DVD it will show that photo shoot. Okay. You get to see some of, some of how the, the actual photos of us coming out of those pods were taken. Yeah, that's pretty intense. Uh, what's the deal with track number 11? It's 12 seconds of silence entitled 1297-2499. It's 11 seconds of silence. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is the deal with that? Or is there a deal? Oh, uh, there's a deal with that. But that's for everyone to to try to figure out. That's for us to know and everyone else to try to figure out. Hey, I'm on to something then, right? And it's perfect. <laughs> Investigate all you will. Please. I'm the musical investigator. Please, 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 have fun with it. <laughs> hey, man, uh, what song will, uh, do you have any idea, I should say, what song will be released next from the album as far as the single goes? I've got, uh, I've got know, my guesses. We, uh, I think we can you pay attention to what everybody starts to cling to, you know, whether it be, you know, the uh, yourselves and, and the band and, uh, uh, you know, the people that you play it for and, you know, the fans and people at the label and, you know, you start getting feedback on different things and people gravitate towards different things. That's true. And uh, so you pay attention to, you know, how their their gravity works, I guess. Now I've heard, uh, I read an interview with Matt recently and he was describing Mudvayne's music as math metal, which was kind of genius. Uh, can you explain to the average listener what that would mean? Um, you know, we work, uh, taking math, math metal is uh, something that, I think Matt actually coined and has been used now in several places, but uh, um, he uh, he said that and used it and in, in, in meant very loosely, and uh, it kind of got taken pretty far. You know, it was kind of a joke to us. Because like, of your time you signatures. Know, math metal, bring your abacus. There you, you know, go. Because, uh, you know, it, it was kind of a joke between us, but it got taken pretty literally. Right. So, you know, we do work with numbers, and, you know, um, as far as, conceptual matter yes there are, is conceptual matter uh to the album and albums and uh, you know that's something a part of our art that we put out there for everyone um you guys are, of course from peoria the central illinois area everybody's proud of you guys over here and you have put central illinois back on the musical map do you guys still live here or have you relocated uh actually uh one of us lives in, is still in the area and the rest of us uh have uh moved fairly close actually uh, but i'm not gonna 
give any of that away. Probably if uh, people wanted to know, I'm sure they could probably dig far enough and ask on the web. And there you go. Find, um, find it out. Do you guys have a political voice as far as, like, your opinions on the upcoming war, the, all the stuff going on overseas? Uh, no, you know, as a band, we've never, you know, uh, taken stock in, in politics or, you know, using uh, our band as a platform to, you know, speak about politics. Uh, who's the angriest member of Mudvayne? The angriest member of Mudvayne? Yeah. I think there isn't really a truly, truly ang angry member. I think that there's a truly frustrated member, <laughs> you know? I think they're truly sad members. I think they're truly frustrated members. I think that we're all different people. And so no one's angry. And, you know, we're all different things at different times. I, I mean, just know, hearing your record, that's just ironic. Just putting. Well, I think that the. Uh, well, I think that that's an extreme oversight if you're saying that we're all angry because if you actually read the lyrics and pay attention to the album and the concepts behind it, everything is very, very positive and based towards self-exploration. That's true. I guess it's natural and aggression, strength, right? And strengthening your, you know, with, from within yourself. So um, as far as it being a, a, a negative thing, I think that that, that would be a, an oversight. And I hope that people really delve into the lyrics and, and the content of the album because I think it can um, definitely just uh, um, spark your interest. In okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe self again, hopefully. That's a great, good uh, advice for your fans. And I've got one more question for you, and then I'd like to ask you just a few more from our listeners, if that's okay. Um, why did Mudvayne pull out of the tour last year with System of a Down? I don't remember the name of the tour. Uh, you guys came through Peoria, but Mudvayne wasn't on it, and a lot of people were wondering why you guys didn't play that tour. Uh, why did we not play that tour? Is this going to get, like, typed in and stuff? Oh, I can edit whatever I want out of this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think where, when that was. I don't know. I think the tour went, uh, was going down. Was that the Aussie tour? I'm asking you now. No, I'm it wasn't. Sure um, it was the one with System of a Down and Slipknot, I thought. Uh, I don't remember what happened. With that okay. Show. You know, it could have it could have been a number of things. You can say, you know, it could have been a number of things. We may have gone to another tour. I we may have um, uh, had some had illness. You know, uh, there have been other different family things that have happened. So, you know, we just deal deal with things the best that we can as they come to us. And if anyone uh, is disappointed by us not being there, you know, uh, please accept our our uh, our sincere apologies. You know, man, and hopefully we'll be back there as soon as possible. I think the fact that you're coming to the Madison Theater uh, this Sunday and the release of your new album is is way apology enough because everyone's loving your new stuff. Sure, no problem. Uh, from Friar Dan, how much has life changed since the release of LD50? Wow, um, how much? How has it changed, or how much has life changed? Yeah, just pretty much how uh, the drastic changes you guys have gone through since you yeah. know signing with um, Epic and all that. Uh, it's everything uh, that I think we couldn't have. Everything we couldn't have imagined. <laughs> um, uh, it's pretty surreal uh, as far as you know touring and and uh, you know having a large fan base and um, just uh, coming to a realization that uh, that your art is being accepted by the mass public is. Is a pretty surreal feeling, and uh, uh, leads leads to all of all of us searching, you know, in, from inside, you know, and, and staying in touch with uh, who we really are. Trying to stay uh, grounded, basically, as an art form yeah, itself, you know. And uh, some of that's done just through how everybody else is doing it, which is listening to our music. Well, that's partly how we do it out here too. You know, we escape through, you know, shit, climbing your bunk on the bus and listen to music. And gotcha. you know, how's life changed? It's been been uh, an adventure, man. Life is, is an adventure. Good enough, bro. Um, from somebody by the name of Ranger, is the new alien look a metaphor for the way you perceive yourselves in today's rock landscape, like outsiders looking in? Uh, you know, that's a very, very good question, and I appreciate that very much. Um, it is the closest thing to any kind of literal definition of something said or something presented to our public that we've ever given. Wow. And, and not to be that taken that too literally, um, but uh, and I, I say that because that's even an obscure <laughs> definition point. Um, uh, so don't, don't take that too literally because that's, uh, <laughs> uh, that's a little off, off base as well. But, um, okay. So he was on the right track, though. You know, it, it, it's good to, to to have thought of that, and and that's that's a very very 
good question, and I hope that more people pose that question. That's mainly what it, I think what it's about. Okay, Ryan, I've got two more, bro. Uh, from Seiko or Sacco, where do you buy your makeup, and how do you keep it uh, from smearing during a show? Uh, you just you don't rub it. <laughs> you don't during touch show, it. You don't you don't rub it with the towel. Um, you just don't don't smear anything. You don't touch it. Um, as far as where do you get it at? Any costume shop, makeup, you know. Okay. Uh, the, the larger cities, it's very, very easy. Just look up costume shops and, and um, ask for a Ben Nye product. Okay, and last but not least, from a screen name called Mudvane86, will your Central Illinois fans have a chance to meet you and get your their CDs signed when you guys play the Madison Theater? Um, some of us will be there. Some of us have uh, family that will be there, and I know that... Uh, uh, Will probably be unavailable for you know for the evening, but uh, I know personally, uh, you know, I'll see some people out there. I I try to go out as much as I can. But Illinois is a very very hard base for us because when we play in Illinois, we have family, and everybody has all of their family here because we're all from here. So right. a lot of times it's we're pretty scarce uh, when it comes to being in Illinois. Everywhere else, I spend you know I spend and and the rest of the guys spend quite a bit of time, you know. Um, signing stuff and hanging out. All right. Well, we appreciate it. And, of course, mudvane.com is where uh, listeners can go to get more information on you guys, right? Yes. And the Madison Theater is the place this coming Sunday with Taproot and Depsois. And, Ryan, I really appreciate you taking the time out to call the Church of Rock. Thank you for having me. Anything else you'd like to add before I let you go? Hmm. Come see the shows. Come see the show. Ryan, once again, thanks a lot and uh, continued future success, my brother. Thank you very much. Yeah, take care. Bye-bye.